Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with snacks around the world. And look what I got, a very fresh, not even opened, Munch Addict box. Now Munch Addict is a subscription service that I pay for with my own cashy money. If they want to sponsor me, I would be very happy with that, but nobody wants to sponsor me yet. I don't have enough, you know, enough, enough, enough family members here on YouTube. But uh, I do thank all of you that I have. If you're new here, by the way, uh, yes, my channel is Crochet Life and Stuff, which means, yes, there's crochet. There's also all the life bits and stuff like this, like fun food. Um, I'm going to open this. I hadn't even opened it yet, y'all. I behaved, and I'm going to snack today. So let me close that before I hurt myself. What do we have? Ooh, box of goodies. Box of goodies. I'm just going to choose a few. Actually, I might just choose two since it's just me today. The hand is sleeping at the time that I'm recording this just because. They do send you a card and you can actually go look up my like, room there and put this. You can go look up more information about the snacks that are in there with a little QR code. And you can also upgrade and get a beverage as well and more snacks. I don't do that. I don't need the beverage sent to me as well. Wow, looks like a lot of good things this time. Okay, let's just, there's one, and let's pick another one. I'm trying not to get all of the chocolate for myself. Oh, yeah, he won't like this. I will, so I'll take that one. I know, just looking at it, that I'm going to like it. All right, I'm going to set this aside. And look up what I've got. This Looks very Korean writing, so we'll find out. The, well, this one here is easy to find. Okay, wait, well, what is it, huh? This is butter waffles. I'm not even sure if I'm, oh, there it is. I'm looking right at it. Crown butter waffle, a butter flavored waffle snack. The packaging looks very, very lush, very nice. Uh, there is some English on here. Had I turned it over and looked, I probably would have seen that. Have a good time with the butter waffles of Crown. That's what it says in fancy script. I have a feeling they got busted. Yeah, they got busted in transit. See, they're busted, but I have a feeling busted or not, it does smell like butter. Mm. I'm a little sad that they're busted, but it doesn't change the flavor whatsoever or the texture. That's a nice crunch. It's like a nice butter cookie. The waffle thing is neither here nor there for me because I love like real waffles. Like seriously, sometimes I just have to go to Waffle House, get a waffle. I mean, you do have to go and get your vitamin G every now and then. And if you know what vitamin G is, that's grease. So Waffle House is known for. It's still good stuff, but it's not good for you. Okay, I'll put it that way. All right. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is most definitely fat chick approved. I love a little cookie slash cracker slash biscuit or whatever like this. Um, just a nice buttery flavor. Nothing too over the top. Not overly top sweet or anything like that. It's just very, very nice. I mean, they got busted up because they don't put any padding in the box. So you know these boxes get tossed around by the delivery services. Yeah. But this here... I saw the word tamarind candy and I got very excited. Pulparin dots. dots. Mango. With flavor corn something. I, it's hard to read. It's tiny. Tamarind candy with liquid pulparindo filling. Ooh. You got 10 pieces in here. I'm going to use the uh, anti Deborah proof packaging opener here. They look like big orange 
peanut M&Ms, kind of. <clears throat> but I have a feeling they're not because Cameron, love Tamarin. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> got a little cracker dust. I expected a really hard candy to bite into, but it was not. The outside shell is like the outside of an M&M. It's, it's, it's thin, it's a little crisp, but it's not overly so. You bite it in half so you can, we can see the middle, okay? Here's the water running over there. Look at this Oscar drinking from his water fountain. See? Don't know if that's focusing or not, but it's just a soft tamarind filling. Mm. And the tamarind has that tartness to it. It's tart and it's sweet. And yes, these are me. Totally. Love that. Oh my gosh. That's another candy that I have to look for when I get to go someplace and go to an international market again. These, yeah, from Mexico. And this month is mostly Mexico and Korea with a few other surprises thrown in there, but yeah. Oh, oh, if you like anything ooh, with a little bit of tartness to it, you will love this. This is not a sweet tart kind of tart. It's a the fruit is tart and you can tell you can tell it's a fruit or a pod or something. It comes from an actual food. Um, but yes, these are delicious. I don't get the mango flavor out of it. I'm just mostly getting tamarind because I love tamarind and I'm like totally focused on it. So yeah, I'm kind of digging it. What is the latest thing you've tried that's not from the area you're from? Or not from the area that you're familiar with because people move and then they get used to some other things have you ever tried any candy from mexico mexican candy to me is wonderful they have a lot of stuff that is either tart or spicy in their candies and i kind of dig it so try it if you find it oh i have got to get me some more of those because i know this package will disappear yeah and the hand won't take them he's not into tart but uh, I sure will. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming by and uh, being a part of snacks around the world. And uh, don't be afraid to try something new. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll find a new like total obsession with whatever food you've tried. Who knows? I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for coming along and uh, be good, y'all.